NJ Transit canceled 10 trains this morning to commuters' ongoing aggravation, but Governor Murphy found something real to celebrate today as the agency worked to meet federal deadlines for installing the positive train control safety system. It hit a major milestone. I am proud to announce the, that installation of positive train control in the required 282 locomotives and cab cars and wayside installations along 326 miles of track is now done. Yeah. An astonishing graphic shows how the agency went from 12 to 100 percent of its goals in the first year of the Murphy administration and met the 2018 deadline with only days to spare. A minor miracle managed only by taking multiple trains out of service, including the entire Atlantic City line. It was that or else. And what many of our customers may not know, in addition to facing significant daily fines for failing to meet our year-end requirements and damage to our reputation, there was a real possibility that we would not have been able to operate service on January 1st. Murphy again blamed the prior Christie administration that he said dragged the process interminably. I think dragged may be too charitable a verb. Commuter safety took a backseat to cronyism. Service and reliability were sacrificed for, frankly, no good reason. So what now? NJ Transit's got two more years to finish installing PTC on another 150 rail cars and then test the system. No telling when service on the AC line will resume. For now, riders will notice only incremental progress. It's not a magic moment. There isn't tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock are, are you going to have a, a dramatically Different. Meanwhile, four locomotive engineer classes will graduate next year and hopefully ease cancellations due to staff shortages. But there's no guarantee those new engineers will work for NJ Transit, which pays less than the other commuter railroads in the region. And what we're doing is working to improve the graduation rate of those classes, certainly giving them the encouragement to work for transit. I don't necessarily think they'd come for the training we're offering if they didn't intend to work for us. So I'm very hopeful. The agency's looking to hire former Long Island Railroad Chief Ray Kenny as its rail operations VP, and funding remains a problem that Murphy needs to solve. And there's got to be a, a way that that operating expenses are paid for and, and not out of the capital monies of New Jersey Transit, and that there are enough capital money to uh, available to do the things that New Jersey Transit needs. On funding, I think Diane and I are having a broad transportation funding um, sit down this afternoon, and we're early stages on our budget. So it's too early to tell, but we didn't come this far to now walk away. So NJ Transit gets that extra two years to finish installing and testing positive train control, but its biggest challenge will be winning back the confidence of its customers. In Kearney, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.